As a mentor, having apprentices alongside me, I generally like to, to, to tell, especially new mentors, what I tell them is it may not change a lot of the activities that you're doing, but it really changes your key focus. As a developer, my end goal, kind of the overall guiding goal is I'm trying to deliver useful, valuable software. As a mentor, my primary goal is I'm trying to deliver a successful new developer to that team at the end of the engagement. But in both cases, what I'm going to do looks very similar. As a developer, I'm going to try to write the best code that I can, use practices that I know help me be successful, like test-driven development. And as a mentor, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm also going to be intentionally kind of modeling and demonstrating how I do that to the apprentices. Kind of um, not a, a ton of teaching in the traditional sense. It's more kind of leading and demonstrating by example. The first time we do a feature, we might code it together as a group, so that'll be a little slower than then maybe I typically might spend building a feature because I'm building it as a group with the two apprentices. Then the next feature, I'm giving them a chance to do that. And they might go a little slower. I might be a little bit more intentional with my code review uh, than I would otherwise be. But in a lot of ways, it's a very similar process to the way I would do if I was just develop a developer as part of the team. I would say it's about 80% um, the same 20% different if I had to, to put a number on it. As a mentor, I am mostly a, a developer as part of that team. I'm just in more of an explicit lead by example.